Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can, maybe a bottle of beer, sometimes a spirit or a wine will drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label. We read it every single word. We take a look at the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. Then we crack it open to see if it meets expectations. For all of our beers, we always taste in these glasses and that's why all of the beers have an equal footing as far as clarity and aromatics. As far as aromatics go, most people what they'll do is they'll take a look at their beer or their wine, they'll sniff, sip, and then let you know what they think. Well, I sip first. Why? The Dex will explain it all to you right up there. And when it comes to temperature, that's also important. All beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers around 37 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> if you want to know what temperature your beer should be served at, just click on the banner up there and I'll let you know. Okay, I have from the folks at Thermoworks, they sent me this lollipop thermometer. There's a link in the description box if you want to know more about it. So that's how we keep track of the temperature of the beers we taste here. All right, what do we have today? From the other half brewing company, and they are, let's see, I think they're around here. Other Half Brewing Company, uh, 195 Center Street, Brooklyn, New York. All right, and the government warning, I shouldn't operate heavy machinery or be a pregnant woman. Neither one of those apply. Other Half, Green Diamonds, Double Dry Hopped Imperial India Pale Ale. All right, what do they tell us? All right, hops. Uh, Galaxy and Amarillo. Well, Amarillo is a little spicy. Galaxy, well, we'll find out. Alcohol by volume, 8.5%, 16 fluid ounces. This is an Imperial IPA brewed with a hand-selected blend of hops, giving notes of peach, passion fruit, and sweet grapefruit. Now that's interesting because I would, I associate grapefruit more with uh, Cascade. So, huh, well, all right, well, <clears throat> they tell us peach, passion fruit, and grapefruit. So that's what we'll be looking for, a hazy, full-bodied peach, passion fruit, and grapefruit. Let's crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. And by the way, it was $4.95 at the local beer store. All right. Here we go. Yes, sir, it's a hazy, crazy, lazy one. Either that or the brewer forgot his filtration system, one of the two. Diamantaceous earth would be very good, I think. But that's beside the point. Well, it looks, it looks like a, an IPA, certainly. At least an American style IPA. East Coast, or uh, what do they call them? New England, any IPAs. All right, that means 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. We're, we're down to 48, so <clears throat> this could be, could be a little chilly, which means I might miss some of the uh, flavors rather than for the aromatics. As I said though, it does, it looks like an IPA. Cheers. Usually, it takes me two sips to get the, to get the taste buds tuned, or at least paying attention. This one, all it needed was one. Wow. Let's go in for the first nosedive. Oh yeah, there's peach in the nose, and there is certainly grapefruit in the in the flavor. And they balance so well together. They're on top of a very lush, full-bodied, I wouldn't say sweet, but I would say very grainy, but certainly 
um, a, a, a touch of the sweetness there really does balance out these hops. Wow, this is a <clears throat> this is a real eye opener. So does the other half. Green Diamond's Double Dry Hopped Imperial India Pale Ale meet expectations? It certainly does. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up and a share would be great, but we really like to hear from you in, an, in the comments. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.